What's up, everyone? We're going to have a reality chat, and this is going to be about the Real Housewives of Potomac. So I've been watching the episodes, getting caught up on my DVR, and I, I just wanted to share some things, and I really want to get your perspectives in the comment section about the things I'm going to share, but they have a new housewife. Her name is Mia. She is she's a boss. She's a boss. She owns several multiple locations of the joint chiropractic firm. I'm pretty familiar with it. I've never been to any of them, but, um, you know, pretty familiar with the brand. And, and that's no small feat to, to do. So anyone that can rise to that level of success and be a mom, have multiple children and, and run a household and all those things, I, you know, tip my hat off to you because I know that it's not easy. But I will say that I got turned off by her in the first episode of, you know, when they introduced her to the group. And I mean, that's how she introduced herself by talking about all the things that she had done on her body, which is cool. It's the truth. But, you know, I was just a little bit turned off by how she came on board. And it, it felt like, in a way, especially with that first episode where she was, you know, saying she felt like Giselle had a good heart. She didn't know Giselle from a can of paint. I just felt that that was, you know, disingenuous. And then in the very next episode, she's just like... I, you know, I'm a boss. If you want to speak to me, then, you know, I can give you the number to my assistant to reach out to me when Robin and Giselle reached out to her about having lunch with her without Karen saying, don't bring Karen to lunch. But anyway, after seeing her open about open up about her life and the things that she's experienced with being in foster care, her mother being on drugs and all of those different things, it definitely softened her a bit for me. Although I ain't even gonna lie, like watching this show in HD, it's a little bit hard because she is a pretty woman, but that face, it, it's some stuff that needs to be done. I don't know like what's up with that, but anyway, I, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna go too much into that. I just, being someone who is licensed in aesthetics, I feel a certain type of way when I see people with the caked up makeup on and their skin is not good. Wendy calling herself Zen Wen and all of this stuff. I actually liked Wendy from the last season. I know a lot of people didn't really care for her. Now she did turn me off a little bit at the reunion for the last season, but that's neither here nor there. But you know, she had her body done and rightfully so because she had a baby. The last season she was on, I think her baby was only, I don't know, a few months old or something like that, still breastfeeding and all of that. So she's feeling herself. She's feeling her new body, her new boobs, her new butt that she didn't admit to at first, but she eventually did. But she had a party to introduce everybody to her new body, all the girls to her new body. And then now, you know, catching up to where we are with this um, trip that Candace supposedly arranged, it's a bit much. And I know people love to hate Giselle and for some obvious reasons, some reasons are justified, some not. I'm not a big fan of Giselle either. I just call out what I don't like about her. And honestly, I guess what I do like about her and I don't really know that much about her to say what I do like about her. And I'm not even being shady when I say that. It's just been more things that I've seen that haven't been very likable about Giselle. So it's easy to call those things out. But I'm saying all that to say with this new Wendy and how she is behaving to us, to those who are just seeing this for the first time, it is a bit much. And I know people are saying, I know some people say that Giselle is just hating. Now, when it comes to the supposed rumors about Wendy's husband cheating on her, I don't think that's necessary, especially when it's a rumor. It's nothing that has been shown to be true. And even when Giselle was talking about it to Ashley, 
Ashley even said, I don't think that's true. So, to, you know, to say that even Ashley was just like, mm, I don't know. I think Giselle bringing that up again and, you know, why she thinks that's the reason Wendy got her body done, I think is ridiculous. But when Giselle was talking about it at this, this dinner that they had recently, I didn't think that Giselle was really even being shady about it. And obviously to be on these shows, you have to be a little bit controversial. That's one of the reasons why Giselle has been on from the beginning and she still is, even though she does not have a storyline because her storylines have been pretty much been made up with her and Jamal's relationship that was really non-existent from the giddy up. But you know, they made it into a storyline to make it seem like she really has something going on with him. But her storyline is similar to Sheree from The Real Housewives of Atlanta, where you're like always in someone else's business, always spilling someone else's business instead of talking about your own and not really willing to go there with your own relationship struggles or issues. So, you know, I'm just saying that even with all of those things going on with this situation with Wendy, I don't think that Giselle is even being shady maybe with the cheating rumors but with the actions that wendy is taking right now i don't think that she's being shady when she's bringing it up because even when i was seeing it in real time or recorded time i won't say real time because this is all recorded i felt like it was a bit much now you can dress sexy you know you can get your body done get things fixed up that you didn't feel good about or you felt insecure about or things that used to be lifted high has now dropped low and you want to get it lifted back up again nothing wrong with that absolutely nothing wrong with that especially when you do it the right way and you can afford it you're not getting plumped up in some hotel room somewhere but seeing wendy like dropping it like it's hot and and all that stuff you know on the bus with the girls it didn't seem like her now wendy says that she is the consummate professional and then when she is you know in her car she's listening to trap music and stuff like that that may, may very well be that may very well be but i don't see her as what she's trying to portray where it's like every moment you're in front of the girls you're doing the most and you're thoughting it up <laughs> it just doesn't seem like that is really her that actually